What is the purpose of life? We as Muslims can answer that question rather simply. It says in the Quran that Allah did not create men and jinn except to serve and worship Him. So that's it. Case closed. Now we know. But would it be permissible to just stay in the the masjid and pray rakat after rakat after rakat after rakat? Would that be permissible? Of course not. The worship goes beyond the masjid. Once we leave the masjid, we have to remember Allah in everything that we do. We go on our job and we wonder why things aren't working out the way that we want them to. Because when we clock in, we've clocked out on the remembrance of Allah. We go home to our relationships and we wonder why there's so much turmoil and trouble. It's because depending on the situation, we leave the remembrance of Allah out of anger, another emotion. We must always remember that Allah is the overwhelming authority in our lives, wherever we are. So if you work a job and you are not allowed to pray or you're ashamed to pray, that may not be the job for you. You must be able to stand up and be proud that you're Muslim in any situation that you're in. And if it costs you that job, then it's best for you, only if you knew. And in your relationship, we must recognize that we're Muslims and we're in relationships with fellow Muslims. So we both need to work together to achieve this purpose together so we can both see each other in paradise. We must pray together. We must treat each other with respect. We must lift each other up when we're down. Those are the things that please Allah. That's how we worship Allah. We have to keep Allah as the overwhelming authority in our life. Verily in the remembrance of Allah do hearts find rest. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.